Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, July 25th, and today, um, Thursdays are ruled by Jupiter, so this is Saturn as well, so it's a day to um, really, you know, extend on your beliefs, to really get in touch with that, in tune with that. It's also a great day to expand. It's a day that you may be receiving some type of gift, um, some type of, it's a benevolent type of day. You know, you might even be meeting a new teacher or learning a new teaching, deciding to go back to school, you know, just things of that nature. So as far as the astrology goes, the moon today is in Taurus. So we may be focused highly on things of our body. So how how it is that we feel in our the, our material possessions, the things it is that we have, if we're having, if we have enough, um, or if we have too much, you know, what is it that we want that is better? Um, what is it that could allow us to attain better? Or what is it that can bring us into more alignment into what it is that we're desiring from out of life, right? Because it's not always better. Sometimes, well, it just depends on how you look at it, right? So, the moon is in it doesn't have any real aspects worth mentioning but we do have a conjunction between mercury and venus so and well not yet but mercury and venus there is a conjunction and so this is really the mind and the heart working in alignment and attempting to get some clarity you know and being in alignment with one another and making things go in the way in which it is that you desire them to so this is having your desires for filled and met along with um understanding why it is you need these things but i'm sorry the clarity in which you need to um to have these things that you want these things and with venus being the ruler of taurus these two really go hand in hand right so our mind is really aligned with what it is that we need want and desire from life you know the ways it is that we think how we're thinking are ser is serving this you know so especially on an emotive level on an emotional level so wherever that is happening in your chart for you, you'll be experiencing that the most because we're all feeling that energy, all really um, bringing clarity to our relationships with, especially with Mercury being in retrograde in conjunct to Venus. This is, um, you know, bringing more stability to our relationships, allowing us to revitalize our relationships uh, allowing us to re, I'm sorry, uh, I had looked at the card and it's like, oh really? Okay. So, um, you know, and really just see whatever it is that is within that may need to be up for reconsideration, you know, in regards to those things. So... The cards that we have today, I'm only pulling from two decks, the Oracle deck, the Work Your Light Oracle deck, and the Astrology cards. You probably always see the Astrology cards. I love these cards so much. Not only are they all things Astrology, but they're beautiful. Like, they have this gold foil, and they're really sturdy. I love these. So... Let's see. So Taurus is also a very intuitive sign. And I say that because the card that we got for today is Inner Temple. Again, we got this card earlier this week, but this speaks a little differently. Of course, all the answers lie within our heart. But this also speaks of our foundations, you know, and how it is that this has had, this has served us up until where it is that we are today, you know, and um, 
being devoted to this aspect of ourselves, creating some type of uh, spiritual practice for ourselves will allow us to continuously be in the place it is that we need to be at all times. That whole being present over being stagnant. Sometimes movement isn't happening, not because... Um, there's nothing to do but sometimes it's just not the time you know so take some time today to expand within your beliefs right um thursday saturn i mean excuse me sagittarius jupiter to also um go within to the heart because the with the moon being in taurus and speaking of the body we may need to be listening to ourselves closely so we can know what it is that we need to do for it, what it is that we need to do for ourselves. So for us to more so show up better in our relationships, right? All the answers lie within. I'm not saying that teachers aren't good and new teachings are, aren't good as well. What I'm saying is is that you just need to listen to yourself with whatever comes up with those teachings, right? And with this, we got the fourth house. So this is is that Venus and Mercury in Cancer because Cancer rules the fourth house. This is um, our emotions. This is our intelligence of the emotions. This is our roots, you know, our, um, the things that we learned from childhood. This is our home life, our relationships again with our mother because the fourth house was a mother, us being mothers. This also speaks of uh, our security and what it is that we need for our security and all of that can be found within the inner temple. So really take some time today to sit with that and see what it, figure out what it is that you really need for your life to go in the way it is that it needs to go for you to be happy for you to be um for your desires to be met there's nothing wrong with having a fulfilling life like it's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with having a slow life it's nothing wrong with having an easy life it's not nothing wrong with having a life that flows that is really a life that we want to get to you know so um try to just see more beauty in find the beauty in everything it is that you're experiencing and listen to yourself and take some time to just really go within i say that so much but that is so important for us to listen to ourselves you know, and know it is that we're going in the right direction that our soul is desiring for us to go in, not something that somebody else is telling us. Um, people tell us good stuff, but it doesn't always, uh, it isn't always meant for us, you know. Um, there are some things that can't be given to us by another person. You know, so again, take some time, um, continue to release the things that no longer need to be released, that no longer need to be here because we're still under the last quarter moon. Um, See the beauty, Taurus. See the beauty in everything it is that you do. Listen to yourself, your intuition. Again, Taurus. Um, Take the time to get aligned so that your life can be fulfilling and know that there's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with where you are and you will get to where you're going as long as you're taking the steps and doing the work so i hope that was helpful for you guys today i'll see you tomorrow and you guys have a great day bye